So one of the most common questions we get is, hey, can your land act as down payment for your barn door project, your construction loan? And the answer is absolutely yes, as long as your lender, of course, uh, allows you. But uh, with our bank here, we allow you to uh, incorporate land equity uh, into your overall project, okay? So let's just talk real briefly about how it looks like, and then we can uh, dive a little bit deeper um, into you know the uh, requirements that may go into this. So we're just gonna use today for an example of land costing $50,000 and your Bardo project, you know, the construction being 350, okay? So if you were paying cash for the whole project and tying them all together, you, you'd be spending $400,000. So let's start with that baseline, okay? Um, first, let's take an easy situation and say, hey, listen, I want to, I want to already pay for my land. So it's already, you've already written a check. It's paid for you owe nothing. So all you need to borrow is 350. So the question is, will the bank, um, allow that land to be down payment, uh, your down payment? Well, it depends on the bank's requirements. So does your bank require, you know, 10%, 5%? 15%, 20%, 25%. So we've written out some, some scenarios here. First one is, is let's assume that the bank um, uh, allows for 10% down for your financing. So that means that on the overall project, if it costs 400,000 and assuming that it would appraise for 400 or better when it was done, that means that the bank's willing to, to lend 360, okay? So if you look at, hey, I've already paid for my land, it's $50,000, that's already paid for. So at that level, I only need to borrow 350, which matches your construction project, right? And they're willing to lend me 360? You've, that means you've met your down payment requirements, the 10% down. As a matter of fact, in this kind of situation, most lenders will also allow you to roll back in closing costs. So if you, for example, let's say your closing costs were, let's just say $5,000, that means you're at 355 if you want to borrow that. Guess what? You're still underneath the requirement that the bank would, um, would have for meeting your down payment. Now, same thing goes if we take a look at the 15% down. Let's just take a peek at that real quick. If 15% down, you can see there's a shortage, right? If 15% down, they're only going to lend you 340. That means to meet their requirements, you're going to have to put down on top of your land another $10,000, okay? So three, 350 minus 10 is 340. Now you've met the lender's requirements for 15% down payment. That means that out of pocket, once you've paid for your land and that extra down payment, you'd have 60,000 into that project if your lender requires 15% down, okay? So I hope that makes sense. That, that gives you an idea on land equity for down payments, if it's already paid for. 